Hey everyone, so today we're going to be learning and looking at how to put dimples on the motorbike. Now the reason we're putting dimples on the motorbike is to emulate the aerodynamics of a golf ball. So in order to do this, we simply go to the right plane here. Let's go ahead and create a new sketch. Click on the right plane. Now we're going to go to convert entities. And we're going to click on the body panel that we'd like to put the divots on. So we're going to go body panel by body panel. So you can see it created a sketch. Now we're going to extrude the sketch. Click extrude. And now you want to click offset. And I'll offset it by about 400 millimeters. Just to get it outside of the body. And the thickness doesn't really matter, but I'll do about 50 millimeters. So now that we have this body extruded, we're going to go ahead and draw a sketch on it. So go ahead and draw a construction line on this. Once you have your construction line drawn, go ahead and exit the sketch. Now we want to go to this tab here, click this little arrow, and then click Fill Pattern. And then we're going to go ahead and select the face that we want to fill. But before we do that, let's go ahead and delete this that they have in here. Go ahead and click the face. And then go ahead and click on the direction. Click the little construction line we just made. Then you want to click on Create Seed Cut. So as soon as you click that, you can see. I'm going to put about 69 millimeters spacing. And then I'll put about a 50 millimeter diameter for our circles. Now this next part is extremely important. If you don't do this, it's just going to cut all the way through. So you want to click on that button there that says Auto Select. And then in that little box that it has, click on the face of our extruded body. Then click the green check mark. And you can see we have our cutouts now. Now select the face of this body and create a sketch. Then click off the body. Now go ahead and go to Convert Entities and select the face of this extruded body. Make sure you select Inner Loops one by one and then click on this Select All Inner Loops button and click OK. Now we could hide this extruded body and we have a bunch of little sketches, circles. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight all of them and then Extrude Cut. So now to Extrude Cut, we want to go to Offset from Surface. Click on the surface we want to create the dimples on. And as you can see, it comes out from the surface. We want to go into the surface. So click on that reverse button. We want to go about 15 millimeters in. And then click OK. As you can see, it created a bunch of cylindrical-like cutouts into the body. But we want dimples. So then we just have to create fillets. Now I'm going to go ahead and fillet every single one of these cuts. You could decide on the fillet radius, but I'm going to put 25 millimeters. And click OK. So now, there you have it. We have our dimples. And basically, you would do this for each and every body panel until you have your desired effect. You could even fill it that outside edge. So you can see here, we'll do a fillet of 25 so you can see what that looks like. If you think that's too much, let's go ahead and try a fillet of 10 so you can see what that looks like. So yeah, you could play around with this and create your desired effect. So now let's take a look on how to create bubbles on the surface of the motorbike as opposed to dimples. So we're basically going to use a lot of the exact same concepts. Go ahead and create a sketch in the right plane here. We're going to do the same body panel, but on the other side. Go to Convert Entities and click the surface of the body panel you wish to put bubbles on. Then, just like last time, extrude this sketch. And just like last time, click Offset and about 400 millimeters. Now go ahead and click this button to reverse it to the other side. And again, the thickness doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and put 50 millimeters. So now you can see we have this extruded body. Just like last time, go ahead and create a sketch on the surface of this extruded body. And go ahead and put a construction line headed this way on it. And when you're done, exit the sketch. Now go ahead into this tab and click on Fill Pattern. Just like last time, delete this. And click on the surface of the body panel you wish to create bubbles on. And then click on the direction you wish to go. Click Create Seed Cut. 
I'm going to put 69 millimeters for the spacing and 50 millimeters for the diameter. And then instead of this time deselecting this auto select, leave it on. It's going to cut all the way through the body, which is what we want to create the bubbles. So if you click OK, you can see that it cut all the way through the extruded body and the body of a motorcycle, which is what we want for the bubbles. Go ahead and hide this extruded body. So now we want to go ahead and create a sketch on the right plane, which is on the inside of the motorbike. The motorbike is extruded outwards from the right plane in both directions. So if we sketch on the right plane, it's in the middle of the motorbike. So we're going to go ahead and sketch there. We just need a sketch that's inside the motorbike to create the bubbles. Go ahead and click on convert entities once you created a sketch and select all the rims of these cutouts. Then click OK. Now it's time to extrude these little sketches. Click Extrude. And just like last time, we're going to go ahead and click on Offset from Surface and click on the surface that we want the bubbles to go on. As you can see, it goes up to the surface and back in a little bit. We need it to extrude outwards because we're creating bubbles this time. So go ahead and click on Reverse. 50 millimeters is a lot, so we're going to go ahead and put 15 millimeters. Click OK. Now the last step, just like last time, is to create fillets. So go ahead and click on Fillet and select each and every one of these top rims. So if you click on one, it pops up with this white menu bar. If you click on this first icon here, it will actually fill it all of them for you automatically, which is great. You can also see the fillets to make sure that they're working properly by clicking on that full preview feature. So just like last time, I'm going to put a radius of 25 millimeters. And then I'm going to click OK. So there you have it. Now we have the bubbles on the outside of the motorbike that we were looking for. And then you would just do this to every body panel that you want to put bubbles on. And just like last time, if you wanted to create a fillet in the edge where the bubble is in contact with the body of the motorcycle, you could go ahead and do that. Just click on these edges right here, click fillet, and then type in whatever fillet radius you choose. So you could see a radius of 10 would look something like this. And then you would have to do that for each and every bubble.